All right, our last book of the week. We will rock our classmates by Ryan T. Higgins. Um, you may remember the first book, uh, We Don't Eat Our Classmates. But since we had Wild Symphony yesterday, and this is We Will Rock Our Classmates, let's see how this goes. I love Penelope. Penelope was the only T-Rex in her school. Sometimes that made her stand out a little. And sometimes Penelope's classmates didn't see her at all. They just saw a dinosaur. Want to play cops and dinosaurs? You can be the dinosaur. Well, I was hoping to play dentist. Great! We'll be the dentists. You be the dinosaur. Have you been flossing? William Amoto's backpack is stuck in your teeth. Oh, poor Penelope. Dinosaur or not, Penelope loved to play. She loved to read. Good night, tasty moose, all wrapped in bologna. Good night, tasty goose, with a side dish of pony. Mmm, ponies. And she loved to draw. Wait! I won't eat you. I don't even have any mustard. But the one thing Penelope loved to do more than anything else was to make music. She loved to sing. She loved to play guitar. Penelope loved to rock and roll. So when Mrs. Noodleman told the class about the school talent show, Penelope was excited. She was also nervous. She wanted to rock her classmates. But could she do it? Also, the sign-up the sign sheet was right next to Walter, the ferocious goldfish. <gasps> Penelope took a deep breath. She had to do it. She tiptoed past Walter, and she quickly wrote her name with her bravest purple marker. Penelope, rock and roll. After school, Penelope shared the big news with her parents. And I'm gonna wear a pink tutu and big boots and spike my scales and look angry, but I'll actually be really happy. Oh no, it's gonna be so great. She hummed her favorite songs while brushing her teeth. She danced all the way to the bus. She even told her classmates about her favorite band, the Weevils. Best band ever. My dad used to go to all their concerts until he accidentally ate the drummer. A lot of animals this week. I didn't realize that until now. It's all animals. At last, it was time for rehearsal. Can dinosaurs even play guitar? <gasps> On stage, Penelope froze. This kid. Nope. Let me have a little chat with them. She could not sing. She could not play guitar. She worried that dinosaurs could not rock and roll. Penelope was very quiet on the car ride home. She hardly ate anything for supper. Are you sure you don't want more penny pie? You've only had 52 burgers. Did you just look up? The next day at recess, Penelope sat alone on the bench. She would not play hopscotch. I am a T-Rex, not a hopscotcher. She would not play duck, duck, goose. I'm not a duck, or another duck, or a goose. I'm a dinosaur. At the end of the day, Penelope crossed her name off the sign-up sheet with her saddest blue marker.
When Penelope got home, she went straight to her room. Daddy Rex came in to talk to her. Is everything okay, he asked. I can't be in the talent show, she cried. I am just a dinosaur. Ah, I see, said Daddy Rex. <laughs> Come with me, Hannah. Stop your meddling. No. Come here. Come here. I know. I know. I know. Oh, no. She's so aggressive. <laughs> Take a look at this family photo album. This is your Uncle Frank. He was a gr he was a figure skater. Oh, and here's your mom finishing her first marathon. Oh, Hannah, please. And here's me, the world hamburger eating champion. I ate 5,053 hamburgers with ketchup. Cool. You see, said Daddy Rex, being a T-Rex is only part of who you are. You, for instance, are kind and caring, creative and adventurous, and you can be anything you want to be. I love his face here. <coughs> Who are you talking to? No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. no, no. What is happening? Oh, it's... It's Maxi Wigglebutt. It's... Hey, hey, hey. Stop it. Be good. Go get Maxi. Go get Maxi Wigglebutt. I know he's your best friend. He's your best friend. Before field day happened, Maxi Wigglebutt was at the track and I got to see him. And he ran right toward me. Love that dog. The next day at school, Penelope marched back over to the sign up sheet. She looked straight at Walter and almost lost her nerve. But Penelope's classmates. <laughs> go get it. <laughs> but Penelope's classmates had a different idea. Can we play with you in your band? Please, Penelope? And that gave her just enough courage. On the night of the show, Penelope was really excited and also really nervous. Children! She peeked out from backstage to find her parents. Hey, I love this. Look closer. <laughs> That's good stuff. When the curtains opened, William Omoto and his amazing animal sounds took the stage. Tweet, tweet, honk, baroo, plop, roar, howl, chirp. Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony went second. Okay. All right. Then there was the Stegman Brothers, synchronized swimming mimes act, followed by Martina Cortez and her dazzling card tricks. Look, at our talent shows, we do not have to have dancing ponies. Just throwing it out there. No need. We're okay. We're good. Your card was the Ten of Hearts. No? Was it the Elephant of Spades? I mean, if you can get a pony to dance, I'm all for it. Just maybe outside. I'm sure that'd be tough to clean. Finally, it was Penelope's turn. The lights on the stage were bright, but not as bright as Penelope. We are Penelope and the Mustard Seeds. Penelope was a T-Rex. She was also kind and caring and creative and adventurous. Most of all, Penelope was a rock star. Penelope and the Mustard Seeds came in second place, just behind Mabel Hastings and her dancing pony. Okay. I don't know. I think a dancing pony or a guitar-playing T-Rex. I'd probably give it to the T-Rex, to be honest. That was okay with Penelope. She loved ponies. 
Mmm. Ponies. I don't know. I hope, I hope there's not a, an accident later. <laughs> All right, everybody. Really cute book. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a great weekend. I will see you soon.